Hi guys, this is avionics equipment of aircraft and today we will continue talking about uh, avionics equipment and uh, today I would like to tell you about integrated modular avionics concept. Uh, as you know, nowadays uh, we have uh, another huge step in avionics development and we have uh, a lot of um, success in computer-based equipment and it makes possible to integrate multiple functions together in one system. That's why today we are talking about integration and their perspective in their avionics. First of all, uh, previously uh, we have talked that uh, on board of aircraft we have multiple line replaceable units and inside of each of this LRU we have a structure uh, with uh, approximately the same number of elements that we have in personal computer. It means that we have some uh, computation equipment we have, we have some memory devices, we have some network equipment uh, to, support, uh, to support input output function and of course uh, power supply unit. And uh, the same structure we have for uh, whole LRUs. Of course there are some quantity of uh, electronics which is different. Uh, from one LRU to another one. However, these three, three components still uh, present at each LRU. Uh, and on board of aircraft we have multiple LRUs because we have uh, multiple systems and also we need to take into account that each uh, system should be reserved. That's why uh, at least we need uh, to multiply number of LRUs to get the total amount of uh, blocks in their avionics bay. It means that we have up to uh, 60 uh, LRUs in the avionics bay. And we Inside of each of uh, this LRU, we have power supply unit, we have uh, central pro processing unit, memory and network equipment. And I think uh, you see that it is not efficient because, because uh, for the whole flight we need to uh, hold multiple electronics and uh, all of these electronics do the same task. That's why much more efficient will be to use in one power supply unit for all line replaceable units. Okay, maybe not one, maybe two or three. However, three will be enough to support uh, the whole avionics bay. That's why uh, scientists around the world uh, begin to think how we can integrate some uh, equipment of LRU to reduce uh, amount of electronics, to reduce uh, power, uh, power supply uh, pressure. Uh, th that's why integrated modular avionics becomes more popular. Another reason for integrated modular avionics was that uh, as an example, uh, on board of aircraft we have a lot of equipment which can be used only for short limited period of time. As an example, ILS, Instrument Landing System. It means that uh, we, we, we have specific LRU for Instrument Landing System. Uh, and we have two LRUs because one main system, main system and a standby system. And uh, we use ILS 
only for short period of time before landing. It means like up to five minutes before landing. And for all another time, this LRUs just putting in avionics bay without operation. However, it requires some power supply. Because when we switch on uh, all avionics, um, ILS will be in standby mode. That's why uh, power will be required to uh, ILS operation. And also from uh, engineering point of view, it means that we have two computers of ILS and uh, we use it only for 1% of the whole flight during the landing. And it is not a good idea. Because much more welcome will be to sharing, for example, computation part of this equipment for another purposes. As an example uh, for computation of flight management system or for solving some navigation tasks, that's why uh, integration uh, has been required from different reasons. And uh, scientists try to think how we can do it. And if we can consider integration at hardware level, you will see that on board we have one network. Just a second. We have uh, one network for data sharing between LRU. And we have multiple LRUs with the same elements. Thus, we can identify identical elements in each LRU and then try to move it out from LRU and connect LRU with uh, these shared resources with specific like interconnection. Thus, we can move out these elements which are present in each LRU, then locate it in avionics bay and use some another type of LRU to hold this equipment. It will be great to, to reach this idea. And uh, scientists try to think how they can uh, play with uh, this integration. And also uh, due to usage software inside of each LRU. Also much more welcome will be to use like one supercomputer on board of aircraft to count absolutely everything. That's why it is one of the goal of integration. Try to move uh, everything uh, to their software level and then applying one or two supercomputers on board to run different algorithms inside of these supercomputers. However, in uh, current stage, we cannot do that for uh, all equipment of modern heavy aircraft. For small aircraft it is and there are plenty of integrated systems for civil, uh, for, for civil small uh, general airplane. Uh, however, uh, for heavy airplanes uh, it was invented another approach which uh, was called integrated modular avionics. According to this approach, they consider integrated rack. It means that we use specific shelf and inside of this shelf we have shared resources. And this shelf we called integrated rack. This shelf uses one power supply unit, it uses specific network equipment 
and uh, a set of line replaceable modules. When we talk about LRU, it was line replaceable units. And now we are talking about line replaceable modules. And uh, some amount of electronics or some uh, amount of LRUs can be integrated with the help of this integrated rack. All equipment uh, which is uh, specific for LRU, can be packed at particular LRM. Thus, we can use uh, LRM transmitter, LRM receiver, LRM supercomputer. And uh, on this supercomputer, LRM, we can count uh, or we can run different software for solving absolutely different tasks uh, which was uh, related to particular system that's why particular case of integration it was uh, first step uh, at the uh, at the integration of whole avionics on board of aircraft uh, of course, we cannot use only one uh, primary uh, set of equipment. That's why we need to use uh, a reservation of power supply unit. We need a reservation of uh, network equipment and reservation of supercomputer and some uh, LRMs, which is important for airplane uh, operation. That's why inside of integrated rack we have uh, primary set equipment and stay, uh, stay by set of equipment. Uh, integrated modular avionics or in short IAM. IMA. Uh, was introduced uh, approximately at uh, 2000 and up to now it was uh, highly used in particular places of uh, aircraft and here you can see particular results of implementation on board of Boeing or Airbus. Aring uh, have to provide some standardization uh, of uh, this type of equipment and uh, they uh, develop a set of standards ARING 900. Thus ARING 900 uh, is oriented into integrated modular avionics. And uh, the main disadvantage of this integration it is uh, unique. Of integration because uh, an equipment uh, many equipment on board is not universal and it is developed a special or particular type of airplane uh, for example hydraulic controller or electrical system or electronic flight instrument system or, or some other particular uh, LRUs, which is uh, perform particular task on board of particular airplane. That's why this LRU is not universal. <coughs> and only those LRUs we can integrate in integrated modular avionics. Because in this case, uh, this set of modules will not be universal as well. That's why IMA much more expensive, because there is no market as we have for LRU. LRU has market for different types of airplane. 
Okay, if you talk about some navigation, communication and surveillance equipment, it means that uh, anyone can produce it and uh, any can, anyone can propose it in the market for different manufacturers and different airlines. In integrated modular avionics, we need to integrate systems particular for particular type of aircraft. Thus, it became not universal. That's why price for integrated modular avionics should to include uh, should include all expenses for developing, validation, and all other things for particular type of aircraft with a small market. Thus price is much more expensive than LRU. And this is the main uh, cause to stop uh, introduction of IMA for whole equipment of aircraft. However, for unique use system for particular aircraft, it much more welcome to use integrated rack than a particular set of LRU. Uh, here I have an example of electronic flight instrument system on board of Boeing 777. And uh, you will see that uh, this integrated modular avionics uh, is used for support uh, FEs. And we have uh, two sets primary and uh, secondary uh, integrated racks for uh, support electronic flight instrument system operation. Also, we can see that uh, in cockpit we have three uh, flight management system and uh, these FMSs are connected to the three different uh, channels uh, for data sharing and also uh, our integrated racks are connected to these uh, data channels and uh, FMS as well to perform its operation and uh, to support uh, image generation for set of displays in cockpit. Uh, in particular, it is also important, uh, you can see here, that uh, on board of aircraft uh, we do not use only one uh, digital data bus. We use uh, th two, three or even more uh, data channels for data transferring. Also, uh, Point triple seven support flight by wire uh, concept. Thus, uh, uh, thus uh, we have separate data bus for uh, support uh, airplane guidance function, and for all other data traveling like system data bus on board. And uh, let's talk about how we can integrate. First of all, we need to specify which LRU are ready for integration process. And uh, at the left side, you can see different uh, titles of systems uh, available for integration. Then we need to find hardware which we can integrate. Thus, we need to identify hardware part uh, which is uh, crossing with uh, or present in different LRUs. Then we can do the same for software level because each LRU it is a personal computer and each LRU run particular software to support uh, function of particular system. 
That's why at software level we need to think how we can use uh, classes and functions to be available for multiple uh, software which we can run simultaneously in one PC. Thus we need to integrate at hardware level and uh, integrate uh, soft at the software level. And during that uh, we will reduce size, we will reduce weight, we will uh, reduce uh, power consumption. At the same time we increase performance, uh, we increase complexity, improve reliability of system because uh, final system will include less elements and system is reliable if we use less elements because in reliability analysis uh, each component of system uh, has probability of fault. Thus, if you use less elements, it means uh, final system reliability will be less. And of course, it will increase cost. Because IMA is strongly desired for particular aircraft type. If it is, we do not have market. And uh, we need to sell only one system in comparison with LRU concept where we can uh, sold like 100 systems. Thus all prices should be packed uh, in, inside of one system. That's why integrated rack much more expensive, in, 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 expensive than uh, the same amount of LRUs. And this is the main cause to stop integration of all equipment uh, on board. Uh, another important uh, reason for integration uh, it is uh, improvement support. If we can integrate everything and if we can use a uh, supercomputer to process all function of all systems on board, it means that we can easily reconfigure the system. It means that uh, most, in most cases we just need to uh, solve particular software faults. Thus all improvement can be easily done at the software level. Thus, uh, IMA has multiple advantage. However, price for final equipment um, it is the main disadvantage of uh, IMA uh, realization in real life. If we can compare LRU and LRM because LRU it is unit and LRM it is a part of integrated track. If we can compare two standards ARING uh, MC, uh, for MCU ARING 600 and ARING 900 for LRM, then we can see that uh, approximately in the half we can uh, reduce a volume of LRU. Uh, we can reduce uh, weight approximately in 30% and power uh, consumption in 16% and reliability will be improved in 20%. That's why incredible and that's why integrated modular avionics it is a future of onboard electronical equipment. However nowadays we have some uh, problems uh, and the main one it is expenses and price for those equipment. Also we need to think that uh, in case of total integration 
of all avionics equipment. We need to think how we can fix uh, problems in different airports because uh, specific of airline that aircraft is traveling around the world and if some problem happened during the way uh, at the destination airport uh, we need to specific engineer that can uh, provide maintenance of integrated modular avionics and uh, in case of LRU we have a set of compatible LRUs based on standards ATR and uh, MCU. In case of integrated modular avionics we do not have such good uh, uh, idea because uh, each LRM is developed for particular uh, integrated rack. Integrated racks are developed for particular aircraft type. That's why we cannot easily unplug LRM from Airbus and put uh, this LRM to Boeing aircraft. And this is uh, one of the other problems uh, related to maintenance of integrated modular avionics. However, nowadays many aircraft uh, uses integration uh, for systems which, uh, which is unique for aircraft type. For example, traffic collision and avoidance system or TCAS is universal. That's why it is, doesn't matter where it is, on board of helicopter, on board of uh, heavy aircraft or different types of aircraft. It should be present and the LRU is uh, identical. That's why any uh, LRUs which is available and destination airport can be uh, used or can be replaced by another uh, identical system. And this is the main advantage of LRU for maintenance. In integrated modular avionics, we do not have such possibility. Now, at least. That's why probably in future we can find a way how we can solve uh, this maintenance problem um, for avionics equipment. And integrated modular avionics will be done uh, for any uh, systems on board. Thus, nowadays we have some uh, mixed structure. We have some integrated racks, which is connected to the global data transferring bus, and we have some set of LRUs. And all of this structure, it is like a mixed structure, is operated together. What we have inside of uh, integrated rack? Okay, if uh, here we have integrated rack, uh, we have a unique power supply unit, we have network equipment, and we have a set of uh, LRMs. Inside of uh, each integrated rack, we have a local power distribution network with a low uh, voltage level usually. However, high voltage is also may be present uh, based on LRM structure. We have a local uh, network to make a data exchange between uh, LRMs. It means uh, also that uh, local networks is a very welcome because uh, most system uh, which perform the approximately the same tasks required identical data. That's why uh, uh, usage a uh, local network helps to improve uh, performance of uh, total system because uh, most data required for integrated modular avionics for uh, integrated rack are transferred via local data bus and uh, 
do not use global data bus. However, each LRM can use uh, access via local network and uh, some multiplexing equipment to get access to the global digital data bus. And then via this data bus can ask uh, any parameter inside of other integrated track. That's why it is a great uh, idea which can uh, increase uh, performance of uh, network equipment available on board. At the same case, uh, we can use specific uh, integrated racks which called signal data concentrators. And uh, as well, we can connect particular LRUs to this uh, global data bus, as well as uh, particular sensors. Signal data concentrator, concentrator, it is another type of integrated track. However, it used to, uh, to process uh, raw data from sensors. It means we have integrated track, and for this integrated track, we connect multiple center sensors on board of aircraft. And LRM inside, it is like analog to digital converters and some uh, processors to process all the input data and to form in, uh, like a table of par parameters. Uh, and then this table will be shared with all other resources on board. Thus, uh, signal data concentrator, it is also like one of the approaches for sharing the data. And the main idea of integrated modular avionics, try to integrate every system inside of one integrated rack. Thus, uh, the idea of integration in future, the goal is to have only one primary integrated rack and one standby integrated rack. Thus, we've got two integrated racks. Uh, we have a global database bus uh, to connect all other equipment as uh, sensors outside of the system and the displays to uh, control uh, all systems on board. Thus, it is the main idea of the whole integration on board of aircraft. Thus, I would like also to say you that integrated modular avionics, it is a future. However, nowadays only few aircraft has particular components which is integrated. And uh, of course we need to talk about it because it is one of the important impulse uh, in avionics development. And probably in uh, 50 years we will talk definitely about total integration on board of aircraft. Uh, also today I would like to clarify you a few questions uh, related to glossary. And first of all, uh, let's uh, take a description of sensor. Thus, sensor, it is a device which transforms some physical value, action, to another format. Uh, however, in case of avionics, sensor, it is a device which measures some physical parameter, or maybe not physical. And uh, the value of this parameter we share with all onboard equipment via digital data link. Thus, sensor, it is measuring device on board of aircraft. A display. It is output device which we use to presentation of some valuable data or some information. Modern aircraft in cockpit has electronic flight instrument system, which includes 
a set of displays. And uh, during the flight, electronic flight instrument system identify which information uh, are important for pilot and uh, will be presented on the displays. And a system. System is a group of electronic devices which we use to solve particular task. Uh, it may be one or several tasks. Uh, however, it is also important that system it is uh, equipment to solve one or several tasks. Also, uh, we can use uh, a case of integrated system. It means that uh, we can solve multiple tasks or a group of system. Uh, complex system is also possible to be used in avionics. And it means that this system, it is unique system and probably it has unified line replaceable unit and uh, we can solve absolutely different tasks uh, itself. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Next time we will talk about data buses. Goodbye.